Massachusetts has secured 2.1 million at-home rapid COVID tests and has started to distribute those tests to more than 100 communities this week. And Governor Charlie Baker announced just Monday of this week the initiative would start with the hardest hit communities in the state. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie went to Attleboro today, one of those distribution sites. Alex. Well, Brian, I spent about an hour at the Attleboro Public Library this morning where people walked out not only with books, but boxes of at-home rapid tests for their households. Books, magazines, and it's not something you'd usually be looking for at the circulation desk of Attleboro Public Library. But this morning, how are you? Hi, good to see you. I just wanted to get the COVID test. And I also wanted to get the COVID test. Many residents wanted to get their hands on one. I'm going to be doing some traveling after Christmas between Christmas and New Year's. Robert Lamoureux says for that reason, he was happy to pick up a few at home tests to screen himself for COVID 19 before seeing high risk family members. He's quite susceptible to to almost anything, so yeah. I just want to be very cautious. My dad's really old and uh, want to protect him as well. He's 94. Robert tells me COVID has hit his family hard as several family members have died from the virus and others are battling it right now. I'm going to take every precaution I can. I'm fully vaccinated. I've had the booster shot. Robert was one of many to get some tests at the library where the assistant director tells me people were relieved to find them there for free. Purchasing at home tests has become a little more challenging when you go to a pharmacy or uh, I think people are on a treasure hunt, if you will. And Governor Baker says this is not just a one time distribution of these kind of tests. He says the state is in the process of working with test manufacturers to make bulk cheap purchasing deals for every city and town in the state. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Certain cities and towns in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island are handing out free at home rapid COVID-19 tests this week. Rhode Island Health Equity Zones and community partners are distributing 100,000 tests over the next two weeks to communities most significantly impacted. And Massachusetts is distributing 2.1 million tests to 102 communities with the highest proportion of families living below the poverty level. Attleboro is one of them. That's where 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spent the morning where boxes were being handed out at the Attleboro Public Library. Alex. Well, Kim, I saw residents of all ages picking up free test kits today. Some told me they were specifically using them because they had travel planned for the holidays, while others had family members coming home for the holidays and others just wanted to be cautious. Attleboro Public Library was one of two spots in town handing out free eye health rapid COVID tests on Friday. Why are you picking one up today? Just in case I need it. <laughs> Assistant Library Director Joseph Mora tells me the tests were going pretty quickly this morning. It's been um, nice to see a number of people coming into the library, both our old patrons, if you will, and our new patrons to be able to help them out and um, optimize their health. And I also wanted to get that other test. Picking up a test at a pharmacy may not be an option for everyone, and going to a testing site can also be challenging. I purchased one at one point, it was like $35. Oh. So, and then you got to take it again maybe three days later, or yeah. so it's good to have one on hand, I think. Trying to get into an urgent care to get a test done or something is very difficult. Lisa Dio says she was picking up tests because her daughter was coming home from college. So just to make sure that we're safe and we're going to keep her safe, we're doing, we're doing our best. We're, we're immunized, but we do hope that everything's going to work out OK. Now in Rhode Island, a Department of Health spokesperson tells me different community organiz organizations like libraries and also community centers are pushing out these tests on their own. I'm also told the state is working to expand testing in the coming days, including access to these rapid tests. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.